Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we are taking a look today at the Columbus Blue Jackets making a huge, did I say huge? Huge move re-signing defenseman Zach Wierenski to a massive contract and we'll take a look at the ramifications for Zach Wierenski for the Blue Jackets. We'll be looking at all of that in this video so let's start off with the price tag so the columbus blue jackets a year away from unrestricted free agency re-signed zach warensky the 24 year old defenseman to a six-year 57.5 million dollar contract it will be 11.8 percent of the columbus blue jackets salary cap uh unbelievable 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 the 24 year old defenseman for the next six years will make 9.6 million dollars per season now the exact number is 9.583 something like that um holy goodness oh my goodness yarmo kekalainen putting a lot of money into zach warensky absolutely just insane so there's more to the story here so zach warensky when he was drafted back in 2015 eighth overall by the blue jackets he had been playing at the university of michigan in the big 10 and put up pretty good numbers as a defenseman uh picking up 25 points and 36 points he was a point per game in his final year at michigan he would then play with the lake erie monsters uh in the american hockey league and he only played seven games during the regular season uh, he did pick up a point, but they ended up winning the uh, Calder Championship that season in 2016, playing the Hershey Bears in the Calder Cup Finals. I do remember that. And Zach Wierenski was a huge part of that team. And now since then, the past five seasons, over 300 games in the NHL for Zach Wierenski. He has been a monster. He's played a lot of games, really hasn't missed any, knock on wood, due to health. So that's really good there. Um... But they paid a lot of money, a lot of money here to Wierenski. So let's get into the actual contract. So what you have to look at here is there's a couple things. The fact they only signed him to a six-year deal does have me a little bit worried about he's going to be 30 years old at the end of this deal. Now that's the good news. This may be good news for the Blue Jackets because it's not an eight-year deal. And maybe that's why Yarmo Kekalainen gave him more money because it is a shorter-term deal. He didn't give the duration that maybe some other you know general managers were giving in the seven, eight-year deals for guys like Seth Jones, Dougie Hamilton that we have already seen uh, get signed this summer. But if you look at the market, uh, we're going to go over this list in a second, but Zach Wierenski is making an awful lot of money for what he's you know in comparable contracts to what we've seen this off season now the blue jackets were a little bit more desperate as they did just trade seth jones uh to the chicago blackhawks where he then signed uh which i understand but man like they gave him a lot of money now they have 12 million dollars in cap space still that is something to remember but zach Wierenski is here for the long haul you have guys like Vladislav Gavrikov. You just signed Jake Bean. So there's definitely a little bit of turnover in the defense. Obviously, Adam Boakfist, who came over uh, in the Seth Jones trade. Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Carlson, another interesting pickup there. So this is definitely going to be a different-looking team uh, going into next season uh, up front, but as well as on the blue line. Now, there's some other things we have to get into here as well, which is the comparables around the league. Now, you look at the market for defensemen. So, the highest paid defenseman in the NHL right now, in going into the 2022-2023 uh, season, $11.5 million for Eric Carlson is the top of the list. Drew Doughty is making $11 million. Zach Wierenski is third on that list, making $9.583 million per year which is just over 80k more per season than seth jones who just left the blue jackets and then behind seth jones you have roman yossi making a little over nine dougie hamilton who just signed with the devils he's making nine million per kel mccarr nine million okay 
Alex Petrangelo, 8.8 .8 in Vegas. And Mero Heiskanen making 8.45 in Dallas. So, a lot of people would bring up the argument. Is Seth Jones and, Ro uh, is Seth Jones and Zach Wierenski better than Roman Yossi, Dougie Hamilton, Kale McCarr, Alex Petrangelo, Mero Heiskanen? Interesting move here by the Blue Jackets. And I think it's interesting that Zach Wierenski had to sign just for a little bit more than Seth Jones per year. Uh, but again, you do have to account for it's only a six-year deal. Most of these contracts were for the full length, the full seven or eight-year deals. And that is the difference in this one. Now, Kale McCarr is the exception to that. He also signed a six-year deal to stay in Colorado. Um, but everybody else, Roman Yossi signed an eight-year deal. Drew Doughty, Eric Carlson, they each signed eight-year deals. Um, well, Carlson, yeah, Carlson signed an eight-year deal. Haskinen, he signed a seven-year deal or an eight-year deal. I think it was an eight-year deal. Alex Petrangelo, I don't think Petrangelo signed a max deal there. He may have signed a seven-year deal. Um, but the only two guys that didn't sign for max here are Kale McCarr and Zach Wierenski. And uh, they just both signed their contracts. So Joe Sackick has had a rough couple of days here with the Philip Grubauer and Darcy Kemper situation. But now you look at what the Blue Jackets just signed for Zach Wierenski, they got a bargain for Kale McCarr. And everybody that was saying this summer, maybe we could see Kale McCarr sign for 10, 10 and a half, maybe even 11, 11 million per year. Maybe that's why this looks like a much better contract because of what Zach Wierenski just got. So this isn't a slight Zach Wierenski. I think he's a great player. I think he's an underrated player, but man. Congratulations to Zach Wierenski and his agent because they made a lot of money here and will for the next six years. We kind of have the lay of the land now for the the structure of this team. I think it's good that Yarmo got ahead of this situation uh, because for the entire year we were going to hear about Zach Wierenski trade rumors, Zach Wierenski will he resign, and all of that talk. They don't have to worry about that. That is set aside for seven years from now as he still has one more year left at $5.7 million on his contract. And then next year, we'll kick in his big $9.5 plus million dollars per season. So let me know what you guys think. In the comment section down below, what do you think of the Blue Jackets signing Zach Wierenski to a huge contract here over the next six years? He will be in Columbus for the next seven years unless a team is willing to take that salary. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. And if you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL and more videos just like this one, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time.